Hello YouTubers, Ugly Prepper here. Excuse me, my nose is itching. Uh, something's been uh, preying on my mind this morning. Over over the night and this morning, uh, you know how uh, Opie used to say on Andy Griffiths, it's been preying on my mind, Paul. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes a prepper can make, and I see it, I see it uh, more and more here recently. Preppers are buying stuff, which is good. I say good. You know, you hear the saying all the time, stack it to the rafters, you know. And that's fine for food and water and, you know, that type of stuff. Buy it, set it in a corner somewhere in a cool, dry place, you'll have it. That's excellent. But when it comes to certain things, if you just set it in the corner and don't familiarize yourself with it, you're making uh, one of the biggest mistakes a prepper can make. It whether it no matter what it is, if you're buying a new stove or a new off-grid stove or whatever, uh, or if you're buying a new silky saw, uh, or if you're buying a new rifle or a new handgun, uh, no matter what it is you're buying. For prepping what if you're buying a new radio okay the biggest mistake you can make is buy that and then don't familiarize yourself with it let me tell you a little story about what happened to me yesterday all right I have a two burner Coleman stove y'all seen it on other videos I decided yesterday it was time for me to get out there use my adapter high-pressure hose kit which is hanging on the wall back there. I don't think y'all can see it, but uh, I've got the hose hanging on the wall made by Coleman to, to go from my stove to the tank, you know, the 20 pound tank. So I made the decision yesterday to get out there and hook it all up and uh, make sure everything's gonna go copacetic like it needs to go. Well, you know, everything in the instructions says to hand tighten stuff. You just when you're screwing stuff into the, the propane tank, you just hand tighten it. I got it out there. I put it all together. Hand tightened everything. Wouldn't work. Couldn't get no gas coming through the line. And so, you know, that, that type of stuff is good to know. So I had to get my channel locks and, and just tighten the fold out of it on the tank, the side that goes into the tank. Oh... Uh, and just tighten the fold out of it to get it to where that check valve in there would meet up or whatever, you know, I don't know, I'm not no expert on propane stuff, but uh, you have to get in there and tighten it up to the point where you're about to break a pair of channel locks. It has to be that doggone tight for my little adapter kit to work on my Coleman stove. This is the kind of stuff you need to know before the world comes to an end or an shtf this is kind of stuff you need to know uh you know if you've got a weapon okay you need to know how to break that puppy down for proper cleaning there goes that one you know i've got a weapon light on here you got to know how to how to use that how to take it off okay uh been a while since I've done this, so this is good that I'm doing it. But you got to know how to field strip. Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. I didn't fire it. Now, now, see, you have to remind yourself. Like these Glocks, they have to be in the fired position, or they won't disassemble. Okay, look, I just took that apart. Here's your captured spring. All right. Here's your barrel, all right? Now, I've got this thing broke down. I can clean it properly if I need to, you know? But you have to do this ever so often or just like what happened to me, I forgot. This has got to be in the fired position or else it will not disassemble. Familiarization. you got to familiarize yourself with the things that you plan on using when the when the shtf comes no matter what it is coronal mass ejection emp whatever it is you're planning for 
you've got to be familiar with it. These little Balfang radios are a perfect example. All right, these things a lot of people pay extra for the programming cables and stuff, and that's fine. But I didn't buy the programming cable. I want to know how to do it up here, where if something happens and I accidentally reset it, or if I need to reset it and reprogram it for different things. Like right now, I've got mostly ham radio stuff in here. What if I want to change it up? I'll just do a quick reset and put scanner frequencies in there. Listen to my sheriff's department or whatever, fire departments. You need to know how to do this stuff by memory. You know, it's just like, I mean, I'm not a soldier. I've never been in the military, but I'm sure a military person can tell you when it comes to your, to your rifle, everything needs to be muscle memory. Well, you know, your brain can be a muscle too. You need to know how to do these things. Uh... Let me look at my little list of paper here. You just bought you a new solar generator. I just bought me one. Awesome. Get that thing out. Learn how to charge it. Uh, learn how to troubleshoot it. I plugged mine up today to, to put some more charge in it. And it wouldn't show that it was charging. I'm like, what in the world's going on? What I had done was I had pushed the, the, the connectors in. I had pushed them in too far. And I back that connector out, boom, it starts charging. The little metal pieces wasn't making up. You, you have to get your stuff and use it. Um, I mean, here's a, I won't cover that up. Get you some CBs, some little CB walkie-talkies. Learn how to use them, okay? Just, just whatever it is, unless it's food or water, which everybody knows how to use food or water, but... Familiarize yourself with the things you're buying or you know, you don't want to have to stop and learn How to program a radio with bullets flying around your head. Or you know what I'm saying? Or whatever happens you don't want to have to stop and try to learn something new in the middle of a disaster if a hurricane's coming It's important y'all you need to learn how to take these things down. You need to learn how to, you know, uh, let me give you a little history of what brought me to YouTube. Learning brought me to YouTube. I didn't come to YouTube to follow all the big talk channels, and which there are some excellent uh, channels that break down the current events, and I watch some of those. Um, but I had bought a rifle. And I did not know how to take the bolt out of it. I needed to learn how to take the bolt out of a rifle so that I could clean it properly or so that I could bore sight it if I wanted to try to bore sight it if I thought it was, you know, inaccurate. That's the stuff that brought me the ugly prepper to YouTube. And there are, if you have questions, punch them in the search queue, okay? There's videos on everything, how to preserve water, how to how to break down, how to fill strip a Glock handgun, you name it. My point is, whatever it is you're buying for SHTF, don't just buy it and set it in the corner. Buy it, okay. Let's take some time, break that puppy out of the box. Let's read the instructions. Let's read the specifications on it. What it'll do. What it won't do. Okay. Then after you're done reading all that, then you get hands on. You get out there and you learn how to put it together. Just like with that, uh, just like with that tank and that hose kit for my stove. Yesterday was the first time I put it all together. I knew I could do it. But you don't never know what you're going to need to learn about it, you see. And that's something you don't want to have to try to figure out when stuff's going on all over the place and you're worried about your safety uh, or the safety of your family. You know what I mean? Get yourself out there. Uh, another good, for instance, last night I took the... Let me start putting this back together. Uh, last night I took my Glock 19 outside. I just got some, uh, put some night sights on my Glock 19. And of course I got the weapons light on it. 
Well, I took it outside last night in the dark and lit up a few targets. I wanted to see, you know, what my sight picture is going to look like in the dark with my new night sights and stuff. So, you know, you don't have to shoot ammo all the time uh, to learn something. You can dry fire these Glocks. You can dry fire them. You can get used to the trigger. That's muscle memory in your finger. Uh, so many, you know, this application I'm talking about, familiarizing yourself with your preps is something that everybody needs to take time and do because I feel like I'm just repeating myself. But it's so important, y'all. It's so important. It's a beautiful sunny day in Alabama. They're talking about highs in the upper 80s. Uh, and it's beautiful out there. But a lot of times when I'm outside, I'll cut my own head off. You can't see my head or the camera's upside down. And because I can't see the screen, it's so cotton pick and broad out there, I can't see the screen, what, what I'm actually doing on the screen. This was important. I wanted to make this video where you can see me and I can see y'all and know how important it is to familiarize yourself with whatever preps you may be buying. Maybe you bought a new shotgun. Well, okay, excellent. Take it out there, shoot it a couple times if that's what you want to do. Learn how the sight picture looks. You okay? Whatever. All right, then take it apart. Learn how to clean it. Take it apart, you know. Learn how to... If you're new to handguns, learn how to load a mag, okay, or a magazine. Um, familiarize yourself with your preps. It's, it's important, and it's one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of preppers making. What's wrong, puppy? It's, it's anyway, I'm rambling, y'all, but it's very important. Get out there, put your stuff together, get your solar generator or your gas generators get your gas generators out there but you don't have to fill a whole gas tank up you know put a little bit of gas in it learn how it runs how to start it maybe there's something how to choke it you need to learn all that stuff uh that's stuff you need to know beforehand all right y'all i've rambled on enough it's just 12 minutes going on looks like uh this is the ugly pepper i hope y'all have a blessed day Get out there and learn something, prep something, but then learn about it. It's very important. God bless y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Give us a like or a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think. Appreciate all the new subscribers. We've had some subscribers coming over from Instagram, some coming over from other channels. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless you. Uh, long live the Republic. This is Ugly Prepper, and I'm out.